Hi, this is Robert Rando with Timo Sunrams here to talk about probably one of our most exciting products over the last couple years beyond the grand view windows, beyond the sky view skylights that we have. It's our pergolas. Pergolas have just gone through the roof and if you're considering a pergola for the backyard you will want to see an evolution. Why? Because you can look online all you want to see a pergola or look at Home Depot Lowe's on their website at a wood one or a vinyl one or a resin one or a Trex. But at the end of the day, the aluminum has the best product for your home. So let's first look at a couple things that are inside your kit here. You can get a wood pergola. Absolutely you can. You can buy all different kinds of lumber. You can buy cheap lumber, you can buy good lumber. At the end of the day, both they both have the same problem. Somebody's got to paint it, somebody's got to stain it. All right, somebody's got to maintain it. If you put a hot tub under there, you can't cook underneath it because the flame could cause it on fire. You can't put a, a barbecue pit underneath there. There's a lot of things you can't do, but it's wood. It's you know a natural earth product. They always look nice when you first put them up there, but they have a tendency to age over a period of time, and you have to a lot of upkeep. All right, this is the top. All right, this nice square tube like this. This is what you see. This is your lattice. So depending on whether you put a lot or a little. You're only going to get 10 to 40 percent shade up there. That's all you're going to get. So the, one of the most popular ways that people um, see it or do it is aluminum. All right, but there's roll. It's called roll form aluminum. Watch this. What if you had a beam that was running up there that you could do this? Well, you can't put those up there because guess what you have to do? You have to sleeve this with something. You have to sleeve it with wood. You have to sleeve it with aluminum, steel. I've seen people sleeve them with polystyrene. All right, the tops you don't have to, but you're back to the square tube again. But if this was your corner post, you got to put a wood post, and then you got to put a, a a piece of aluminum over it, or you got to put a piece of vinyl. So you're really buying the pergola twice. All right, that's the problem with roll form aluminum and vinyl. Is you're buying it twice. Even the Trek stuff, you got to put an inner support because um, composite lumber doesn't have any tensile strength. All right. So that's one of the challenges, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna get 10 to 40% shade. That's all I'm ever gonna get. When it comes to a, a Timo pergola, first of all, this is a rafter beam. Look at that, that's a heavy gauge aluminum. Our, our aluminum that we use is 40% heavier than this. You can't squeeze this, all right? This can handle any wind or snow load all the way around. It's got beautiful beauty lines built into it. Look, they may be about the same height, but they certainly are not the same strength, all right? So just because this is six inches tall doesn't mean it's the same as this, all right? You gotta see it, you gotta touch it, and that's a really nice Corbell on the end. But what you see up top here is where our crescents come in. So you can call them lattice. We call them a lattice crescent. Now this crescent, if you notice, it has a shape to it. This, you'd have to put two of these up there to equal one of these, all right? This has an internal drip edge all right it's to help look it's it's a pergola water's still going to come through it but this reduces some of the water that would normally come down channel it to the outside and all you do with these is you pop them in and you lock them in place once they're locked in place these are rated for up to 220 miles an hour but before they would come out of this and because these are preset we are going to get 60 percent shade so if you truly want to get some protection from the elements and you want to have your vines running through them and you want it to look beautiful in the backyard get the aluminum pergola so i'm not buying it twice i'm not buying aluminum and then buying wood to make it stronger i'm buying the right aluminum the first time all right and i'm getting the right crescents to get the right protection from the elements all right now people really love the pergolas for a lot of different in a lot of different ways because we can take the step one one step further all right this is the operable pergola from timo what you see here is a return lift. The return lift creates an internal gutter system. So you can pit, once you press the uh, remote control, you can stop it at any point that you want, open it up completely for 100% sun, 50% sun, 30% sun, or 100% waterproof. This will be watertight. When this roof comes down, this gutter system will cause the water to shoot out each of the ends. So you always want it to be away from the house, and then you want it to open like this, away from the house. All right, now there's other things we can do. We can make them open left to right, just given the size of your structure or whatnot, because we can build these up to 24 by 24. But at the end of the day, a Timo pergola, all right, um, is gonna provide you more protection than a wood one, than a vinyl one, than a Trex one. Internally, 
what we have inside, we use an aircraft aluminum push rod in here. Now with the aircraft aluminum push rod, it's going to give us a nice smooth motion back and forth. All right, so a nice smooth motion. And when it's all connected, inside, we have an actuator. Now the actuator is what they use on hospital beds and boat hatches. This is going to give nice smooth action. This bracket that connects it is used on a, it's put on a CNC machine for six hours to make it structurally strong enough that this kind of thing can handle 500 pounds of force to open and close on the roof. But it's a silent actuator driven unit. It's a push pull unit. We've tried the other ones with the, the mechanisms and the bars on top or the ratcheted ones that bang close. We decided not to do any of them. So not all operable units are the same. The other thing is ours is hidden in a drive rafter. It's hidden. You will not see it. There's a little belly cover that goes on here. This is inside. There are companies that, that put them on the outside or they're exposed. And like I said, they are not all the same. So giving us um, a beautiful sculptured look, internal rain gutters, aircraft aluminum components, push-pull motor that with a silent actuator drive. The operable pergola may be just what you're looking for for that backyard. Believe it or not, the, everybody that has considered having a, a regular pergola 160 of this, they don't want anything else because remember, this is two things in one. You can get a beautiful patio cover, a thermal patio cover, really nice sky view skylights, and we make a beautiful patio cover, the same as what we do with our sunroom with a heavy duty uh, polystyrene, um, a heavy duty aluminum skin. We can put the architectural cleats, the beautiful trim, and the gutter, all right? And then you have a pergola. Patio cover, pergola. Both. The Apple Pergola gives you two things in one. So you're not only going to have the ability to have a nice patio cover, but you're also going to have the ability to have a beautiful pergola in the backyard. So the other thing about the pergola, let me just pop these down here for a moment, is what are your posts going to look like? All right. When you look on the internet, do you have any idea what those posts look like? Not really. You can't even get an idea of the size. So I'm going to try and help you here to understand how a pergola is. And by the way, there are still companies that do the ting and bang roofs, and we'll never do anything like this. They still make them today. All right. Now, if you're just looking at this from a distance, you go, okay, that's a really nice aluminum post. Uh, we call this our Roma post, but we're upgrading our Roma post. But the internet units and ones that you see are even smaller than this. All right, so let me give you a comparison. That is our standard Roma post as we stand here today. And this is what we're upgrading to. Immediately, this should look like a bigger post. This is a four inch post that we have come up with. Some companies just put this down to the ground, at least at Timo. We've always considered the decorative base that goes on the bottom so that it looks nice, okay? So when you have the decorative base down there, it covers all the screws, all right? But this is our new Roma post, all right? This is a four inch post. So just look at the difference alone when you're seeing these two. How do you know? Yeah, you can buy cheaper pergolas out there in the industry, absolutely. They're not gonna be like this. But our most popular post that Timo has to offer is the Florentine. Look at the difference between a six inch Florentine and even the four inch post that we have, all right, with the decorative base on it. So the six inch Florentine, we do make a nine inch Venetian, which is a round one, but this is why you really need to see the difference of the post when it comes to a pergola or a patio cover. Because we can use this with a patio cover, we can use this with a patio cover, we still have some of this available to use on patio covers. But at the end of the day, the next person would be something like this, all right? That's how it would be so much smaller than what we have to offer. Not all of these are the same at any time, all right? So when you're choosing, it's very simple. Pick the size that you want, pick what color that you want. Do you want it attached? Do you want it freestanding? Do you want it fixed or do you want it operable? It doesn't get any easier than that. There's only four things to really choose when choosing a pergola for your backyard. These are available in all three colors, the white, the sandstone, and the bronze. 
And so if that's what you're looking for in the backyard, we certainly have the right product for you. Thank you.